Igbo apprenticeship model, most popular way to build wealth in Nigeria. VP O.C. Banjo, welcome to the news end. Please subscribe to our channel. To get us a five will post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. Vice President Prof. Yemi Osibanje has described the Igbo apprenticeship model as a good way of building wealth among people. Osibanje spoke virtually from Abuja to participants of a national summit in Oka. Convoked to understand the model, which is said to have produced several billionaires. Speaking on the model, which is popularly known as Igbo Boy in Igbo language, Osibanje harped on the need to encourage the scheme to ensure continuation. The Igbo Apprenticeship Scheme, Igbo Boy, has become the most popular indigenous Nigerian economic institution, globally recognized as the world's largest business incubator. The scheme has the full potential to do for the Nigerian economy what similar apprenticeship schemes have done in many parts of the world, especially in Germany and India. I commend the organizers of the event, and I'm hopeful that the summit will improve the growth and possibilities for the Igbo Apprenticeship Scheme. While speaking on the theme, repositioning the Igbo Apprenticeship Scheme for Sustainable Economic Development, the keynote speaker and chairman, United Nigeria Airlines, Dr. Obiora Okonkwo, recommended that a scheme should be institutionalized. Okonkwo attributed his success in life to Igbo Apprenticeship Scheme, which he said he engaged in during the early days of his life in Onicha, main market Onicha, Anambra State. I am sure some of you may have been wondering why I was chosen to deliver the keynote at this event. The simple answer is that the apprenticeship scheme and the Onichame market hold a very special place in my heart as that was where I had first I had my first stint in business. My father died when I was fourteen years old, forcing me to combine my secondary school education with managing the business and his apprentices. That means I went to school in the morning and continued at the main market in the afternoon. That basic training, basic training experience in many respects helped hone my business instincts and also instilled in me a deep sense of industry, hard work that has defined my life's journey to date. Okonkwa said because of the experience when the Anam Azikiwe University Business School in July 2019 honored him with the Philip, Philip, Philanthropist of the Year Award, it was only natural for him to try to give back by endowing a major research project on the future of Igbo apprenticeship. The National Summit on Igbo Apprenticeship Scheme was organized by Anambra Broadcasting Service, ABS, in collaboration with the Oka Chamber of Commerce, Industry and Mines. Hmm. Igbo apprenticeship is crime laden. Are you serious? I don't think, I don't think you understand. <laughs> I don't think you understand. Well, for those who don't even understand what they call the boy apprenticeship, is what's there's a popular thing in the southeastern as the most especially people of um Anambra State. Uh these people are known to you know some of them they go to some of them finish their basic uh, ed education that says primary education, you know, from nursery to primary, from primary to secondary. And at the end of the secondary education, immediately after the secondary education, they now go over to, you know, to learn this trade. They might go over to learn a particular trade from, not even they might, they go over to learn a particular trade from somebody who is actually successful in that line of trade. So when they are, they are learning that trade, they're learning that trade, they're going to go and stay there for as long as four, five years, you know, before it was four, five, you know, six years max, you know, and they're back. And when they come back, they're, before they come back, they're, they're so-called, um, those who taught them the business, their mentors, or let me say their masters, you know, settles them with, you know, sometimes monetary, sometimes, you know, a shop filled with, you know, similar, similar business items, you know. Let's say, for instance, you went to do apprenticeship under someone who has... Let me say who sells, let me say clothes, or maybe someone who sells, maybe say spare parts, or someone who sells, let's say, um, you know, beauty materials. Something of that nature, you know, they, they settle you with, you know, something very good. And at the end of it, you yourself 
when you have also gotten to you know that point where you have built yourself to an extent where you can also do the same for another person it continues like that it has helped a lot of people sincerely in fact our nigerian youth those especially those who are coming out to always scream ah school has come or school has come uh, I've, I've found people who, who they even said they prefer, you know, this Igbo apprenticeship that, you know, the time they spent in school, had they been, they've invested it, you know, uh, invested it in, you know, going to learn a business trade. There is no how that they're going to come out and they will still not, you know, um, at the end of the day, they will not have something to do because this one, it is, it is, then, no, then, it, it, now, even um, now, why I'm saying then is because as I then, people don't stay long. But now you keep hearing that somebody stayed for eight years, somebody stayed for seven years, you hear somebody stayed for 12 years. And at the end of the day, the way it is now, some people don't even pay those people well. Before, it's started so well that, you know, when you are settled in one, two, three years, especially when that person that settles you, you know, you are, you are, you are diligent and your, your master or your mentor actually loved your handwork. Uh -uh. It is, you know, one, two, three years, you're back on your feet. And before you know it, you are doing the same for another young lad. So that is it. Hypocrisy, they comment Igbo apprentices scheme, but it disparaged the Igbos that evolved the scheme as people who are not worthy to lead the country. Hmm. Entrepreneurship is different from politics. Maybe you're good in one and not the other. Be that as it may, Igbo Main has been president, vice president, then senate president. It is misleading to say they are not trusted with leadership. Are you, are you, are you, I don't understand. Are you trying to say that an Igbo man has been president here? I'm not talking about uh, Zico. I'm not talking about Zico of Namja Ziki Will. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about present day. Present day. We have not heard. I don't think we have heard. No, no, we have not. We have not. Double speak. However, that is a fact. Those who could not catch up said it is money ritual. Abi, exactly. When those people that they have trained start doing well, before you know it, because you have gone there. Your five years is not five. It's not five days. It's not five weeks. It's not five months. Five, six, seven years of you learning. You know how to weather the storm. Learning ah this thing or this particular period do. They don't used to be sales. You understand how you manage yourself, how you get to manage your line of contact or customers. You understand. You learn almost everything. You learn customer service. You everything. Everything there is to learn in that business. So when you come out and you're somebody who was actually very open-minded and you are actually very good, you are honest and sincere, I don't see why you won't make it. Sincerely, I don't see why. Okay, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for telling me to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of the day.